personally the first thing that I think of when having to sit for a nature documentary which realistically is only during GCSE geography when I was at secondary school is not how cute or crazy the animals are or how magnificent nature is like the mountains or the rainforest. No, it's the colour of the narrator's skin. Because that's what's important, isn't it? At least according to this article by The Telegraph, which reports white narrators on nature programmes could stop ethnic minorities from watching. I'm sorry, but how bigoted do you have to be to stop watching a nature documentary because the narrator is white? That's not progressivism, that's racism. The article reports that nature documentaries presented by white male voices could put off ethnic minorities from watching. How is this not seen as racist? How is this not seen as bigoted and divisive? I don't know. You think if someone's choosing to watch a nature documentary, they'd watch it for nature, for the environment not for someone's skin colour, not to feel represented. Do they also want to feel represented by the penguins and the lions as well? I know it's cliche to say at this point because it's been stated so many times, but can we not just focus on the content of one's character, how good they are at narrating, rather than the colour of their skin? Like, say what you want about Sir David Attenborough, but he has a good voice, it's very calming, it's very nice to listen to when you watch a nature documentary. I think the whole of the country can agree with that. But this is the result of so-called progressivism, finding issues where there is none. As long as the presenter is good, as long as the narrator is good, I don't care what their ethnicity is. I don't think anyone does. Thank you so much for watching, please like, comment and subscribe. I'm Jess Gill and this is Reasoned. Thank you, goodbye.